Welcome to this LMP flight video tutorial. This tutorial will look at the management of the flight list queries. In the last video, I had made a query and these are the results. So my first choice is to remove the form from the view to give me more space for the results. And I have the option to save this query, but first I'm going to make some changes. So I'm going to add a new column in this case. I'm going to add the operating aircraft operator field to my flight list, which ends up on the right hand side. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to move that to the left so I've added a field I want to sort my results by EOBT validity and now I'm happy with those results so I'm going to save that flight list giving it a relevant name so I know that it's a specific result set so I'll give it something that's relevant to that and I have the option to save that query and now the save has kept my column order my filter or sorts are also saved and my whether I'm showing the form or not is all is also saved and that is a query that's now saved in my saved flight lists. I can save multiple flight lists as I need and they will all end up in that list. And to demonstrate how that this has worked is I will close that menu, reset my flight list and if I go back and call that saved query, you will see that the results show that the operator column is still visible and the sorting on the EOBT validity is still there. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.